All right, we're back. It's number three. I'm covered in dust as always or whatever the hell I was doing in between these things. Uh, forgive me. Welcome back. It's Reactions, Rants, and Rabbit Holes, and I am currently on number three in a row. I am still six days ago with current uh, with uh, comments, but we're moving into a new and different territory. I would like to address... Bernard's newest comment as of today. So, even though he's a strong player in our story, consistently there, making a very strong presence, we're going to hold off. But thank you, Bernard, for everything. And I appreciate it. Dr. Cap. I'm happy to see you and Mike and have an, uh, this I really enjoy um, very much. And this is, I was trying to explain, um, is so much love from down under. And I, I don't think Dr. Cap and I see eye to eye on anything, on every, everything. And Nonetheless, I respect every moment she interacts with us, and I hope I am enough on the, the agreeable side to, to find, I mean, well, she's been with us long enough, and I think she enjoys the Australian music uh, uh, very much, and I can't be more than grateful um, just to have you around, and thank you. And I, I found out that that was, I was getting my leg pulled and you, you, you weren't the person I thought you were and all that. Which brings up a really good point. As I go through my comments here, now this is number three in a row. Uh, I hope I've established what's going on here. Uh, Dr. Dr. Cap, thank you for joining me on the journey, all of us. Uh, Mike, your correspondence here, the back and forth. It's so cool to see this in the comments. Um, what happens is once I uh, kind of go through them and hard them and do my thing, any additional correspondence within one of these parties, like I like to call them, conversations, just people going back and forth, okay? They disappear and they go up in the, notification bell, it becomes a lot harder to go back and find them unless I go to the video, which is a really rare occurrence uh, because of time constraints. Man, I, I move around a lot. I should sit on my hands or something. Uh, oof. I wouldn't be able to see, sit on my hands. I stopped talking. That's weird. Uh, so my point is, is I lose so many comments or conversations that start. So I just want to take this moment right here and let everyone know if that's happened. I apologize because I do lose comments. And when things go back and forth, sometimes I won't get a notification for that. And we have uh, disappearing comments and other things that happen. All right. I think that was pretty neutral. Uh, uh, oh, Miss Fabian gets nothing but love, of course. Uh, we have so many Patreons and supporters for Miss Fabian. Uh, we have another, another party here. Uh, ah, Crusader, you do make a, another appearance. Why? Well... His patience and uh, participation, as I earlier stated in part one or two, it was worth the, I hope it was worth the wait. And instead of starting with vlog three and going to six, I'm just going to do them all and get a nice little uh, brand new Hammerfall only playlist set up over the next few weeks. And we'll package that all into one place with interviews, videos, and a bus rider who's a um, 100% participant in the journey he's enjoying. 
I hope I did not speak out of turn. Uh, nothing but love. Appreciate it. Um, oh, yeah. I put out that spicy thumbnail. Uh, and, yes, the nasty spiders in the Alice Cooper video. But finding the Alice Cooper video, uh, much props for that. Thank you. Analyze, making another uh, appearance. I appreciate it. Uh, my favorite gardener. Uh, if, if our storyline is constantly changing, uh, Roland has a long distance uh, relationship with someone that he respects on the other side of the world who enjoys gardening. Now that's not the, the, the deepest subplot but we could grow that at any time we want and our mutual enjoyment for certain bands makes the entire thing so incredibly worthwhile thank you thank you thank you oh sergeant six killer yeah i'm on uh, it's true because I made that, that that hot thumbnail there, and I even apologized. And I'm like, I don't make these kind of thumbnails, but really it wasn't as bad as I made it out to be. I think we all know. <laughs> I think we all know what, some, what, real, what they're doing with thumbnails now everywhere. So I think uh, that was fairly uh, benign <laughs> in the end. Oh, and I'm so glad people enjoy Lara. And uh, where we go with that. And I'll be back to the show starting uh, this week. Uh, everything will look pretty much back to normal Monday. Um, and I'll be right back. And I'll read a little more. And we'll catch up. And we'll figure out where we're at. Uh, uh, Cold Chisel always getting a ton of love. Um, so just uh, to be fair. Ah, oh, well here, Kaz throw you in this mix and just say I agree with all of that and I'm appreciate uh, appreciative of the respect and that's the truth love it um, and then if anyone can help on the cold chisel forever now official uh, video uh, there's uh, some comments in there fine Kaz and uh, if anyone can uh, point them to uh, a live video, it'd be great. Um, but I just thank you very much. And this is uh, out of nowhere. Just appreciate it, and I want you to know it. So, cool. I'll be right back. We're back, and we're still down under. ACDC, Bon Scott singing, Let There Be Rock, the live version. Um, I agree. I am a Bon. I, I like Bon Scott. Uh, I'll I do like ACDC, right? And uh, I just wanted uh, Yo Rumsfeld here to know. Uh, I did, uh, I got uh, Rose Tattoo is on the site. I have heard of them. And uh, that's why I'm, I hopefully have uh, only reiterated over and over and over my utmost respect for uh, anybody who likes the Aussie rock, are from Australia. Uh, hey, Good Aussie pub rock band. Yes, they were. Or are. And I've even seen uh, a couple live. Uh, I think I saw the original Bad Boy for Love video, and then I think I saw a newer or you know more recent live version of it. So very cool and appreciate it. And uh, thank you for uh, participating in the journey and uh, joining our new uh, thing here. So we have enough people to uh, show love to. Well, we do. We have lots. So thank you for uh, making it making it to the list. Appreciate it. Okay. Here's the, it's the bus riders. The story, it's real. And uh, right here. Uh, okay, I guess Robert gets to clean those bugs from the windshield again off the bus. Ah! Fire happy. Puff, puff from across the world participating in a uh, they, like they, it, the bus is just uh, yeah. but you can join the journey 
as easy as playing along. If we are here, and a lot of us are, for the escapist nature of some online fun, I hope I've spent the last, I don't know, we're an hour and a half in. I don't know how long we're in because there's pauses. So I, I think I'm a couple hours into this already. No regrets, no tension. I've been doing this in front of everyone long enough. You know, I bet you know. When my mood is south, you'll know it because I share it with you. I was terrified that I waited way too long and I'm still five days out. I will have enough content from this alone to last us a week. And it is worth every second I'm spending. So, as Robert cleans up, we're getting into the moment where we find out we almost, uh, I almost thought it was going to, you know, go green. Um, oh, no, we, it, it, well, it's not that we want to redeem or condemn anyone. And we're not dealing with the negative because it gets all its own attention, unfortunately. But what we do want to admit is that it takes all types, not all characters are likable, and not everything that comes out of even my mouth, everyone wants to hear. It is fair are you a non-smoker and hate it every time I light up? It's fair to tell me that. If you have to insult me to do it, then you should find someplace else. Because I can take criticism, but we should acknowledge confrontation. If... The future holds a world full of uh, wonderful, non-confrontational moments. We would actually have to learn how to defuse our situations. And I'm working on it, 100%. But we would have to learn, like is told to us, to de-escalate certain scenarios and get back to an even keel, running speed, whatever the expression. Boy, I don't do nautical well, even though I got the boat pictures. It's weird. It's, it's all. So, no. And we are into what happened. I, oh, I want to go. I want to get into this one. Now, I know I have a friend. So, here's the second thing about comments. Every now and then, I want to, uh, oh, there it is. I go, I will. We, we are, are back. back. Uh, go to it because uh, a very dear f personal friend is in there, and I got nothing but love for him. So, uh I had nothing but the best time playing cards. I am grateful for the friendship that I have with my buddies. And it has only got better over time. So, again, for your loss, Dave. You know, I mean, nothing but love. And uh, just so you know. I got, I got hearts for you too, brother. I got hearts for you too. Uh, so I had to just jump in here and check because this was one of those for myself. Now, once, I mean, Robert, how many times has Robert come up? Quite a bit. I love Robert. He didn't really, this ain't his total thing. And he was telling me, I don't see anywhere where that's somehow upsetting. Nobody in here cared about that. Why? Because we can be honest if we're all friends. If we actually got to know, right? If Do we know each other a little bit? And then if we do, why can't we be honest? I'm positive we can. So 
Uh, nothing but love here. Nothing but love here. And uh, along with Bernard and others, Robert, bus riders, uh, I'm gonna, we're going to uh, move on here. And I'm going to skip a little bit forward because the bus riders, they actually participate in everything. And it would be all them. So I'm going to add to the list here because we have other people that participate too. I'll be right back. We're just pausing. Hold on. And exactly what I was talking about just happened. So I, I moved along and I gave out a lot of hearts to uh, bus riders and parties. And uh, the club was hopping. And it was from hot guitarists smoking there, just playing. And oh, ooh, to new artists who, ironically enough, I thought um, one of our complicated characters would either enjoy or respect the change of pace. Well, Jewel, she appreciated these new additions. And even though I will admit in another location we discussed that uh, uh, it's a, a niche group that cares for Miss Sterling. Uh, and maybe a jazz fusion purist isn't going to take away the same thing from her performance as I, a simple guy who likes the Renaissance Festival and beautiful settings might take away. Hell, even some of the cosplay works. So, Jewel, I appreciate it. We will see her again. Because I actually enjoy her work, and she was one of the people that I watched went viral early on because of the unique nature. And with the internet growing at such leaps and bounds, you know, almost uh, incrementally over the years since all these artists started. Sometimes people don't realize how far they go back, how much love they've actually got. And uh, if they find something that works, I can respect them working with it. So it's very cool. Nothing but love. And thank you for joining us for uh, at least this reaction. And... Uh, Thank you for taking the time in the comments. I appreciate it so much. I, uh, I am not even kidding you. Now, that's about Mark. We don't, uh, he got all his own. He got his own show. Oh, Sean, who showed up in another. Oh, all right. Fantastic. Uh, where's this paste? Paste. Made it to clip three. So here we go. All of a sudden, we got a story about seeing a buy and fly on the wall. And, um, ooh, Henry Rollins. Ah, uh, and here, this is how it works. So then, have I free commercial advertising for those? Oh, it's my boss. Never mind. I can't say much about that one. Technically, I work for them. Eh, you know, what do you, What can you do? Um, added. Added. Added is the point. Uh, <laughs> and uh, thank you for making it twice. That's what I'm saying. I'm always trying to add, add to, add to the story. And this adds to our story. And, uh, I said, I've, I've pretty much told the story. I saw Who Made uh, Who made Who Tour two nights back and back to back at the Met Center in Minneapolis. So anybody out there was at those shows. I was there. We could talk about the was it first or second night when he, his hat got fell off. That was one of the most unique experiences I've ever seen. Um, and yes, uh, our haters are now going to get even a better treatment. Uh, Eileen? And um, 
I love the Aussies. So, I mean, I'm never going to forget the 98% of people who make my life better by interacting it with ways I could never, ever pay back or be grateful enough for. The 2%, they'll get what's coming to them because consequences are real. But it won't be the core of what we do ever. And I hope we have enough content to prove that. And uh, all right. Uh, Mr. Uh, Maka, Maka two. I won't, I, we won't take, cause this is a positive experience and I appreciate you taking the time and you don't have to be gentle on me because I don't think your, um, you know, your road scholar comment is as, uh, you know, jabbing. Oh, here, we're going to get rid of some, uh, so here's they, there you go. We're getting rid of that porn, but we haven't got, this is the first one. So we, uh, we do get rid of all that garbage. We don't let that stay. I try my best to, uh, to um, monitor that. I believe what my ultimate point was is I was trying to figure out if Fever and Hit the Road Jack had similar music, and I believe I referenced uh, Flight of the Concords, if I remember correctly. So, love, respect, and welcome to comments number three. Um, but yeah, I wasn't trying to be a genius or nothing. I was just wondering if the actual arrangement of the song was so similar because I'm no musical expert and I don't claim to be and anybody else can lie to people. I'm not playing dumb, but I'm not selling you on anything. So I will speak that way because I'm not a dirty car salesman. I'm just a goofball on the internet. Moving on. Ah, another party? Uh, oh, God, we're living. That guitarist was so hot. Ugh, he's, hey, uh, coffee. Man tap. Love it. And Dimash. Dimash, Dimash, Dimash. Love Dimash. ACDC. Love Dimash. Uh, Yeah, so NGL. I'm not sure about their bank. Uh, I'm not sure about their what I said about their bank account. But then, of course, I don't believe that has any value. Uh, the richer you are, the more corrupt you are. It's a pretty much a, a simple math equation. Uh, but, yeah, I, I know Maximum Overdrive is a crap movie. Wait, I didn't say it was good. I said I like it. I like Armageddon, too, and it's one of the most ridiculous films ever made. But I like Million Dollar Minutes where they blow shit up, and I really like Emilio Estevez. You know what I mean? So, it's cool. Um, just saying. I like the soundtrack, it's fun, and man, it is a good way to smoke up and then bitch about what a loser Stephen King is. Because I love his products, even his crappy movies, but as a human being, he, yeah, no. <laughs> he runs his mouth as much as I do. So, uh. Yeah, I liked, I, I love Let There Be Rock. I mean, I, I don't know. I hope I, at no point did I rip on ACDC. I, I thought I mentioned that they have all those radio songs, so they must have huge bank accounts because that's what the radio's for, is to beat something into the ground to make money. Um, if it was about good music, half the radio would suck. <laughs> I don't, sure, all good music isn't commercially viable. Pop music is, right? But, whoa, by number three, there we go. Okay, that was real, but I invited the person into our chat. I dropped. Um, 
Wow, that's a lot of poop emojis. What's going on? Oh, my goodness. Man. So I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get everybody worked up. You know, I really didn't. Uh, oh, yeah, no, here's the thing. Everybody gets to love what they want. I personally, John... You get to love what you want. It doesn't kick ass at all. It's so overplayed, I would never want to hear it again. And what I can only do is say the honest truth, I despise it. Don't like it at all, right? I would never after hear Stairway to Heaven ever again. You shook me all night long, ever. It doesn't matter if a billion people sang it together, I wouldn't agree. That's the difference about having our own opinions, right? So, I mean, nothing but love and respect, and I appreciate the time. But this is that whole, uh, you know, I, I don't understand because they, you, you know, they play this in like every bar at closing time in America so women can dance to it. From that scene alone, I wouldn't want to see it. I, uh... I'm not a closing time person fan. So, wow, party time. You are snuggled right in by a party. Oh, oh yeah, no, poor Mark. I'm sorry, Mark. I mean that. Um, because yeah. Oh, man, people know. Yeah. John is a... Yeah. Paste. Where's our paste function? Rick, Dr. Cap, welcome back again. If uh, Rick, first time in, in the comments. Yeah. Oh, John is one of the most exceptional singers all around talented dudes ever. That's the given part. Um... Other people love, right, putting people, um, measuring. I'm not qualified, so I've never done anything like that. But thank you for, you know, the whole exchange. And yeah, he's awesome, right? It also depends on what you like. There's a whole group of people who would think he's not, um, right, because they don't care for the genre. So to be fair, that's it. That's the whole thing is it's, for sure. He is awesome, right? But it's what, what all fans think of their singers. And um, I have the utmost respect for that. I do. But at the same time, because as the last two hours, um, oh, sis, oh, sis, how are you? I'm pasting it right here. I don't even know what you said yet. Oh, yeah, no, he's... And that's the thing. I, how come the people who know us, I think John is awesome, right? Even this spot where I made it sound like I didn't care about his voice. That's not what I mean at all. What I'm saying is it, it is a given. If, if, it, if I had to put everybody on, Oh, I got to address that one too. If I had to put everybody on, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be me. And then we should leave that to the reaction channels who pile the praise. That's a, that's a cool thing. There's nothing wrong with that, right? But we can have a different take on things as long as it's understood is up there at the, the pinnacle, right? Of performance ability and skill. Excuse me. Pinnacle. So, I just, um, just in case it ever comes off, like I, I don't think that. Of course I do. But I've said from the beginning, well, you know, no one can measure up to Slayer. Oh! So, it's a weird argument, right? Because we all get personal preferences. Thank goodness. Ange and I adore John because the experience has been so worthwhile. 
Um, so where, oh, where was that? Okay. Yes, he can sing anything, sis. Yeah, we do. Uh, we had just jobs and crazy stuff, and then we had a big hater, and it's, I, sometimes it's sad. I wish I could just be a basket of sunshine all day. I do. I am much happier being happy. I am a down-to-earth realist. I, uh, I just am. Um, oh, we're going to wrap this up with our sister, and, um, just cannot say enough and nothing but love um, well we, we, we just enjoy Jack's performances so much and it's been nothing but the best experience there's yeah. right and uh, I believe the last couple hours is um, exactly what I've been trying to say to everyone. Um, hopefully we'll wrap this up in part four. I don't know when these will all come out. Uh, I know I'm having a heck of a good time. I'll be right back.